All right, so let's talk about probably the most out there, outrageous, cutting edge theory I have come across in a long time. It's called the Transcension Hypothesis. And it's what happens about 600 years after the technological singularity. Now, the Transcension Hypothesis by John Smart is an attempt to explain or to account for Fermi's paradox, which is the questions that asks, you know, if the universe is so vast, if there's trillions and trillions of galaxies with solar systems, with planets similar to ours that had way more time to develop intelligent life and intelligent life that created technology and so on and so forth, why don't we see evidence of all those other technological singularities that might have occurred in all these other civilizations? And the reason that Transcension Hypothesis says the reason we don't see see anybody anywhere is because complexity and intelligence eventually stops going to outer space and starts going to inner space. Consider the iPhone in your pocket, which is a million times cheaper, a million times smaller, and a thousand times more powerful than a computer that was $60 million in half a building 40 years ago. So you have you know, a billion fold increase in price and performance, and then you have this miniaturization that continues. So when you consider the fact that, you know, 25 years from now, trillions of times more intelligent computers will be a thousand times smaller than today's microprocessors, you start to see that we have what's called STEM compression, space, time, energy, and matter compression. More intelligent, more density, more communication, more energy, less matter, smaller, 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 smaller. And eventually, you know, virtual minds living at the nanoscale and at the femtoscale scale will keep compressing sp space, time, matter, and energy into smaller and smaller and smaller dimensions until we eventually create black hole-like conditions and disappear out of the visible universe. And so the destiny after the technological singularity for all civilizations like ours is transcension, which is essentially to disappear out of this space-time reality that we know of into a black hole-like environment created by us and then slingshot into the future and meet every other civilization over there. Transcension. Still a tower they are building, as they did in ancient days, yet now higher and more daring than before. The sky is not the limit here, the clouds are not the goal, as they seek the prize of breaking heaven's door. The bricks are baked from hollow lies told centuries ago. The mortar made from arrogance and pride. All stacked together patiently, one on top the next, till now they're reaching for eternal life. The vault of heaven blocks their way. The firmament holds firm. No bomb will break through to the other side. So now the stairs are redefined. The vertical renamed. Hoping to get quantum portals opened wide. Both time and space hold their contempt, it hampers them, they say. They must evolve beyond its suffocation. In two dimensions far beyond the realm of stars and angels, that is their ultimate desired location. But through the door provided by the grace of the Creator, such a thing is nonsense in their eyes. 
They want their cake to eat it too, to climb a ladder built from nothing more than Lucifer's old lies. This techno trance, it leads the dance, the revelry, the fire, a false light shining on a crooked path. Pure digital delusions fueled by technocrat intrusions, as if taunting God to pour out all his wrath. Perhaps you thought you lived in San Mateo, or New York, or in Sydney, or in London, or Dubai. But welcome, friends, to Babylon, the mother of all harlots. We've really just been right here all the time. So look, my friends, look all around you. See the tower soar. Its bricks continue piling up each day. Seducing men and women on toward godhood, ever calling. Transcension, the false gospel of our day. <laughs>